The big story of the day, terrorists shot dead a man belonging to the Kashmiri Hindu community in Jammu and Kashmir's Pulwama district in another targeted killing in the valley. The terrorists fired upon the man, identified as Sanjay Sharma, working as an armed guard in his village in the Achan area of South Kashmir district in the morning hours. He was rushed to the hospital where he died. As many as 14 people belonging to the minority communities, including three Kashmiri pundits, were killed in Jammu and Kashmir in the last year. The Rajya Sabha was informed by the Union Minister of State for Home, Nityarand Rai, recently. Let's get you a ground report. Sir, this incident has come to you and what do you know about it? Which militant outfit is involved in this? Look, what we have got to know about it, when we were about 10.30 in the morning, our military committee member, Sri Shanjaya Sharma, when we were out of the shopping with our wife, it was that time. टेररिस्ट अटैक उन पर हुआ और इसमें जो क्लूज और हमको इसमें लीड्स मिली हैं अभी तक उसके बारे में अभी कोई टिप्पणी करना मुझे लगता है थोड़ा सा प्रेमचोर होगा और जैसे जैसे निश्चित समय आएगी हमें जो कुछ क्लूज मिले हैं उसी के हिसाब से हम आगे बढ़ें यहाँ पे जो कश्मीरी पंडित है क्या उनको सिक्योरिटी � कि जो संजय शर्मा है ये जो मुकेश ने बैंक में सिक्योरिटी गार्ड का काम करते थे क्या अपनी ड्यूटी पे जा रहे थे उस वक्त जब ये अटैक अटैक हुआ नहीं ये किसी पर्सनल रेंट से बाहर जा रहे थे बाकी डिटेल्स जैसे सामने आएंगे आपको अच्छा करते हैं मोर अपडेट्स कमिंग इन एंगर ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स नाउ फैमिली म Now seeking action by the administration, the local residents erupting in protests saying despite being targeted time and again, no action is taken and the lives continue to be endangered. In yet another incident, one more Kashmiri Pandit was targeted today and in fact right now we are inside his residential house. Sanjay Sharma, a 40 year old, was working with Jammu and Kashmir Bank as a security guard. He, were, he went outside his residential house, went to local market when he was attacked. Now his dead body in fact has been handed over to family. You can see uh, the uh, wife of this uh, Sanjay Sharma, in fact there he has left behind wife and two kids. Uh, Sanjay Sharma was 40 year old. He uh, was going to local market as per police when he was targeted number of uh, local members have in fact here local population men and women have gathered here and in fact uh, uh, condemning this incident uh, this is the second incident uh, of this month in fact we saw uh, just yesterday one civilian was targeted in Hasampura area of Bijbihara and now this incident coming where in this Kashmiri Pandit was targeted there has been number of target killings last year we saw and now to today in fact this time around this Kashmiri Pandit Sanjay Sharma was targeted in South Kashmir's Pulwama village. This is Achan village where he was targeted. Now the TRF militant outfit has claimed responsibility of this attack, but the police says that in investigation is still underway. With video journalist Mir Mehraj is Sohail in Pulwama. Meanwhile, the politics around it also continues. Mehbooba Mufti clean chits Pakistan yet again, linking the terror to politics. And that this is the sellout that betrays Bharat. Listen in to the reaction of Mehbooba Mufti, who didn't wait a second before giving a complete clean chit to Pakistan. That a few days ago, in Haryana, two people can be said to them. They have killed two Muslims. Today, you have a very young child here. A little child here, a little child here, a little child here, a little child here. हमारे जो कश्मीरी स्पीकिंग हिंदू ये जो बचा हुआ था इतने सालों से ये रहा कश्मीर छोड़ के चला नहीं गया यहीं पर रहा हमारे साथ जीने मरने के लिए आज आपने इसको मार दिया तो फर्क क्या है ऐसी हरकतें चाहे वो हरियाणा में हुई हो चाहे यहाँ हो रही हो इससे एक पार्टी को क्या जो एजेंडा है उसको फायदा होता है So that's the reaction coming from Mehbooba Mufti saying there's one party that is going to benefit from such killings uh, but refusing to call out the terror. In fact, TRF has also claimed responsibility of it. Uh, Sohail joining us on the broadcast with the details. Sohail, the reaction from Mehbooba Mufti, not really surprising because every single time while lives are being lost, there has been a quick reaction giving a clean chit to Pakistan.
Well, in fact, my one of the and several other politicians in Jammu and Kashmir Valley have reacted to this particular target killing that took place here in Achan village of Pulwama, and in fact, say and allege that the Bharatiya Janata Party and the current dispensation in Jammu and Kashmir has failed to protect the minorities in Kashmir Valley. Right now, we are in fact on the spot, and we'd like to show you again the spot where this Kashmiri Pandit Sanjay Sharma was coming out from his residential house and coming towards this local market when he was targeted. In fact, he was deployed and posted with this Jammu and Kashmir Bank. Branch. This is Achan Pulwama, where he was in fact deployed and posted and working here. But uh, since the uh, since his colleagues say that he was not attending duties from last five, five to six months, given the fact that the security situation had in fact deteriorated, and that's why he was told not to attend duties. Sanjay Sharma was just 40 year old. In fact, he has left behind his wife and two kids. He received critical injuries when he was attacked today at around 10:30 a.m. in the morning. He was shifted to district hospital Pulwama, where in fact he come to his injuries. After that, the security forces, def in okay. fact, cordon of the area, uh, initiated a law, uh, search and, uh, in fact, law operation in the area. But the police says that they have picked up leads okay. and they will soon nab those attackers involved in this particular uh, incident. This okay. is the second incident. Okay. Uh, in fact, I request you to stay on with us, uh, Sohail. We have Dr. Nirmal Singh also on the broadcast with us. Dr. Singh, you heard the reaction of Mehbooba Mufti saying that, uh, you know, there's, there's no condemnation of the Pakistan terror, the terror that has come from across the border, instead saying that there are a few politicians here who will gain from such killings. Uh, this is the unfortunate part of these uh, 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 Kashmiri leaders, especially Mehbooba Mufti, that they won't uh, speak against Pakistan. And they'll only uh, condemn uh, the central government, Munirendra Bhai Modi ji, and the efforts of the police and the administration. In a way, they are indirectly supporting such killing. Nearly condemnation is more worse. They have to identify themselves with the victims. If they are real leaders of the Kashmiris, even if uh, Abrina Bhatt is killed, or Rahul Bhatt is killed, or Sanjay Sharma uh, uh, is uh, killed, they will only condemn the central government, question the uh, these are the police, the security forces, the army, and indirectly support Pakistan by saying that you must talk to the Pakistan if you want to end this killings here, giving legitimacy to Pakistan. This is the unfortunate part. That, that's why uh, uh, we see that uh, these people, they are being uh, isolated by the people at large. And they are only depending on the media and the social media to spread this women. Right. In fact, uh, you know, there is a lot of anger on the streets as well. Family members as well who are angry of because of such targeted attacks. Like you mentioned, this is not the first time we are seeing it. Time and again, it has been happening. So the family members are seeking more security. There are no solutions coming forth at a time like this, raising such questions and claiming that there is some politics to it, betrays the people of Jammu and Kashmir. I agree. This is the responsibility of the government to provide security to every individual. But... We have to see that it's a proxy war. Uh, earlier, what was the situation during 1990s when these terrorists they used to come in mobs, uh, uh, coming that they used to came, uh, come from the uh, mob after uh, this uh, saying Ajan and uh, killing the people. That was the situation. Now they are running and doing this cowardic act. This is this is a kairta hai ye unki. If they are targeting the, uh, the, the innocent people. They are not sparing even the Muslims, nationalist Muslims. So that's the situation. But uh, they definitely do it to tell the world that we are still there. But it also shows their weakness. They, it, it also shows that the terrorism is dying. Ultimately, uh, they are running. They are not uh, being spared. And you'll see that once uh, they are tracked down, as uh, the police is saying, and they are killed, they, then Mahbuba Mufti and other people, they'll come forward. That it, it's a, it's a, it's a the story killing. It's an innocent killing. They'll say like this. This is the unfortunate part of 
An innocent Kashmiri pundit who was just doing his services in Kashmir was targeted. The coward Pakistanis once again bleeded the Kashmir. The coward Pakistanis won't tolerate peace, prosperity, and brotherhood in Kashmir. As we are witnessing, there is peace, harmony, prosperity, and brotherhood developing in Kashmir. The coward Pakistanis won't tolerate it, and they bleeded the Kashmir. ये सर दरअसल यही का है यही पैदा हुआ है जब कश्मीर में हालात खराब हो गए तो बहुत से यहाँ लगभग साठ घरों के करीब पंडित थे भाग गए यहाँ बस अकेला ये एक घर था इसका बाप था काशीनाथ वो गुजर गया उसके तीन भाई थे एक भूषण और दूसरा अशोक जी और तीसरा ये था संजय और और एक भाई और था वो पुलिस में नौकरी कर रहा वो बेचारा इस वक्त जम्मू में ड्यूटी कर रहा था काफ़ी शरीफ उलनाफज आदमी था हमारे साथ खेलता था भाईचारे के साथ रहता था बहुत गरीब आदमी है दो बेटियां हैं इसकी और एक बेटा है छोटा सा